Hi there, everybody, and welcome to episode 8 of the Gene Park. I'm Icon, and today, I think today we're going to finally make our first steps towards turning this place into an actual park. So, I have did some thinking between this and the last episode, and I realized that with the given space that I've got here, I have a hard time realizing all the things that I have in mind. So there is a good chance that the gene park might expand into this territory one day. Or I was considering taking some of that territory here as well. There's another steam geyser there, so that might be an interesting thing. On this side, we are already really close to the border. I don't really know. This, is, this also means that all the attackers will have a high bias to be sappers at some point, but whatever gives. So, the biggest problem that I've came across so far is the fact that this dear lady here is the only person who's actually passionate about work, working with animals and actually talented in working with animals. Crappy. So, uh, there, th this goes even further, and there is nobody else here in the colony who could take over the cooking job as soon as Helen takes over the handling. So, we're doubly screwed in that regard, because that means oh, I have to figure out some something how she can do all the training and the cooking. No, this won't work. I know that already. Mm, I like how this looks. So we have to work out another recruit. That's the only thing that came across my mind that actually will work out. So Rec Room is very impressive. Nice. I like to see that. So another thing that's been up my list is we need a spot for our religion here motif of nudity oh gosh that had a different name or wait a sec no that's that's not mine here table of amnesty because we have the other um ideologians here working around okay i'm relieved that i didn't accidentally call my altar motive of no nudity it's usually not me Okay, well, that means we can't do anything but wait until we find somebody else which we can recruit. I mean, there are ways to get ourselves beyond that. We got the guests mod, we got hospitality and gastronomy. So that means eventually we can recruit other people to do that work for us via hosting guests. Pretty good method, but we're not there yet. So, well, let's wait until these fortifications are built, and then let's start creating our first animal pens and staking off other territories. But I don't want to overburden my builders right now, you know the drill. So we also happen to need more Migmatide. I'm quite worried about the future of my fortifications because, you know, there's only so and so much stone here in that area. And then we'll have to find a different way of getting that stuff done. Oh well. So what kind of festivities could we do here? Gene Park social event. I mean, why the heck not? Gene Park festival. Well, I wanted to do these more like when there's something big happening. When we, when we open the park or something like that, but I somehow don't see me doing that anytime too early. There's just too many pressing matters towards survival for our brave new uh, world fellas here. Okay. So we're, we're just running out of Migmatide blocks now. So I really need to do something about that. Here's some more. Good. 
Genetic creation. Wonderful. Let's just research that stuff for now. So we got it down for later. Ooh, we're only one door away from completing this area there. Nice. So, do they start roofing this now or not? Kind of wonder. I wouldn't be too surprised if the colonists did start roofing this now. If so, I need to do something about that. Oh, look at them playing poker together. Nice. So, let's see. Doesn't seem like they want to roof this area right now. Would be really awesome. I don't want roofs here. Just wanted to have a secondary wall for shielding off the lab. Okay, does that mean that we're actually finished with the outer wall? For real now? Well, there's one little segment there, which I haven't done yet. But I appreciate Winters uh, restoring the defenses there. There's some more building material lying around. Wonderful. Okay. Now then. Where's our first pen going to be? I feel like this is a nice area, but not for the first one. How large do I want to make these pens? That's another interesting question. Well. So. I also have installed various different uh, fence sorts, so. We can make something more realistic here for the more terrifying monstrosities. But for now we just start off small with a with a regular regular fence. All this sandy area here also is really bad for animals because they can't graze there. But I don't mind. Okay. I have a hard time deciding here. You already might have noticed. So let's let's pen off this sector here. So let's like make three larger pens out of that. We gotta start somewhere, and I feel like that's a great spot to start at. Them dudes, plan uh, just building time is insane. Construction 17. Well, well. Alright, we're getting in more and more stone blocks here, I guess. Yeah. This is still working out so good. Speaking about working out so good, there is a electric stone cutters table available for us here so i want to upgrade there i want to upgrade there because this is one of the things we're using so much here in the colony we'll benefit a lot from that upgrade i'd love to spend some of the, some of that money though i'm so rich you know pepper food binge you do you All right, so I'll manually order Winters to upgrade that thing. So let's see, does the upgrade have the same builds? Hell yeah, it does. Nice. All right, so this thing here has a work speed factor of 150%, and that's just uh, double as fast, you know. This way we'll get the job done way, way quicker. I feel like that's very important. Okay, now... Some pen markers. And then we can start picking up some animals. 
but I also want to expand in terms of building up the feel like it's about time now. So we're going to build a structure here. So many big expansions today. I love it. So my idea was to 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 create the laboratory area like huge like that. So I have to slow it down here. Let's create a door here and a door there. The thing there is, I already know that there's not only going to be my genetics, my genetic lab there, I want to have my regular lab in there as well. So let's organize that as well here. So let's say this is going to be where my high-tech research bench benches will live at. I think that will be enough. And the rest of this area will be reserved for a genetic lab. Let's move on in. Some walls. We might remove them later. Maybe not. I don't know yet. Just want to make some segmentation so the roofs don't collapse on top of that. Alright, let's do this. This will also mean that we have a huge cutting job on the, on the schedule here. And I do this as a cutting job, so Helen does have a chance to clear the fields before my constructors plague themselves trying to cut those cypress trees. But that takes a really long time if you're not accustomed to that. Prison Warden. So, two prisoners for 20 hours. Just 20 hours and we're getting attacked twice for those crappy rewards. No thanks. not really interested at all well we're gonna have a tremendous amount of wood again i think i'm going to research biofuel refining next simple reason all that timber we can also refine it into fuel to get rid of all the the excess you know i'm at a point where i gotta say it, it is a problem how much timber i got okay this is just so much. I mean, I keep selling it to random car caravans passing through, and that paid off quite well so far. But, well, no, no, no. Not a big fan. Okay, not a big fan. So, let's try and tame ourselves that dromedary. Helen is on top handling priority, and we got ourselves a first animal. Ooh, she's using it as a riding companion. That's useful. So wildlife-wise, we're going to start integrating stuff now. I don't want to integrate any boomalopes into my colony because I don't know. They are they are useful and all, but they can be also quite cumbersome. So genetic duplication. Genetic mecha hybridization. Well, we're not going to need these things for starters, but the biofuel refining sounds like a great idea to me. Because you'll be surprised how much timber we'll have after this. Imperial transporter down. Oh, I love these. So I'll get some Heliodor or some Honor or some Goodwill. Well, I'll take the I'll take the Goodwill. But I want to wait until the morning hours before I accept that quest. So we're being attacked there. Dang. Oh gosh. How annoying. That timing. But it's a it's a squad of uh, of primitives, so we might get off easy with that. But there's just one issue with uh, with that. Our dudes are now tired. Our dudes are going to be a tad bit tired. Well, let's see how long this, uh, this conflict will last, actually. Luckily, I have finally found time to deconstruct all that stuff there. That ruin gave the enemy a nice uh, cover the last time we went through this. So... Since they're starting to breach our barricades soon, I'm going to send in Philly. 
has the sacrificial lamb, so to say. You guys have to shoot Hamster. There we go. Now they're fleeing. So Philly has been chopped up a bit, as usual. Ooh, Shattered Nose? That's a fresh one. As Comyo. Dang. Poor old Philly. Yeah, take down this guy. He took Philly's nose. So, sadly, I don't see myself now taking another raid. Or do we? So, I'll undraft Philly, Narc, and Winters. I thought Winters was a decent doc. Yes, he was. And the other folks will hunt down this guy. Probably we'll down him. Probably not. Most likely not. I don't know. Well, it's a damn bad position, but... Oh, we got him. Nice. Nobody escapes. So, well, we got five hours left now for that quest. I'm so interested because you can keep the shuttle and you know those shuttles they are really really tasty so to say so we are beaten up a bit but all in all let's see how's the how's the needs bars billy needs some food narc needs some food but beyond that, everything's pretty groovy. I wouldn't pick up these two guys for the quest, so, well. Tribes people from the Red Deer Kashosto. Well, that sounds familiar, doesn't it? Let's take it. The wounded people can't take care of themselves there. Oh, come on, you. Crash landing right next to my solar and wind power. Good thing that you didn't crash land wrongly there. But it's actually a really good position because that means the dudes there are going to be um, defending where I want to fight anyway, so... Basically as good as it can get. Because if I remember it correctly, we're going to get raided here just from the outside there. Yeah, there's uh, just a rival. The raid arriving, exactly. So, we're going to... Oopsie. Undraft, Narc, and Philly, of course. These guys, they're not supposed to fight here. We got other dudes for that job. Tiberius and uh, Prodromus. Look at them. They're actually going into comet position right away. Damn, they're not. These guys want my help. I'm using. So. Alright, that Tiberius guy going ham with a knife. Love it. It's actually so good for us. That somebody going in that's there that we got somebody going in there and uh tanking it. And this dude is not the the animals specialist that I've ordered. <laughs> oh well. So we took them all down, didn't we? Nice. Alright, that Tiberius dude is patching himself up. But honestly, I can't tend to him, so. Alright, dude, I hope you're not breaking down, or if you are, well, we'll take care of you. Wonderful. So that's been an easy bounty there. Let's deconstruct that shuttle. And take the plunder. 
All right, that was a very, very combat heavy day. We didn't accomplish too much there today. So nutrition consumption is higher than the nutrition growth in here. What a tragic thing. So we'll have to grow some animal feed in here. Tall grass. Is there any real difference between these two? I'll plant out some grass in there because this will help it. This will help the animals feed in there. I wonder if that works out as a uh, as an upgrade that the game actually realizes or not. I highly doubt it though. So we got really, 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 really large amounts of coffee by now. So let's start making ourselves a medicine cabinet where we're going to start storing that coffee. Or, you know what? We're actually going to place it in here into the rec room. Mech cluster with a climate adjuster. Oh gosh, I hate it. So, boys and girls, we need to pack up our things and travel over there. We hate to travel, but this is one of the rare occasions where we can chicken out on that. Okay. Let's just hope I don't kill myself accidentally while doing this. But usually these uh, these sites are actually quite harmless. Usually. We'll see about that. Famous last words or so. People are heat stroking. Well, okay, Philly. You'll get past that, believe me. So, that thing's... Uh, shifting temperature. Okay. Guess that's why we're heat stroking already. That's one of my least favorite uh, scenarios because it's just so. Well, he would like to sow at least 50 plants, okay? Because I find it so bal unbalanced. You're forced to do a situation that you're probably not suited for. And in some biomes, this can be actually a death sentence. If you are living in an icy biome, and you get a such a site which happens to have an EMI dynamo on it, you're instantaneously dead, because your colony will revolve around heaters powered by electricity. And there's no way of growing wood on these maps, so that's an instant death scenario. I feel like that sucks too hard, but that's just me. I keep saying that whenever I come across these missions, I know that, but... I stick, I still stick with the, um, with the argument that I feel like these events suck hard. So, we're going to deconstruct more walls so more people can actually Right there. Oh, biofuel refining has been researched. So. Yo, Pepper. What the hell are you guys thinking? Why are you not profited? Okay. So, we got this thing destroyed, and we're going to immediately reform the caravan. Oh no, we can't, I see, because there's still enemies on the map. I mean, this is a pretty harmless uh, mech cluster, I gotta admit, but I am zero... I got zero interest in... in taking any unnecessary risk there. Not looting anything, just get out of there. It's mechanoids. I hate mechanoids. They're always more dangerous than they look like. 
Okay. So, I'm not going to research blindly here everything, because I find that always quite boring if you do so. It looks like we do need more a better tech bench to uh, to get further ahead now i want to research basic electronics though because i feel like our rec room could really use some some cool stuff in there and let's put a power oh yeah this is a very short thing Let's power up the entire complex there. Also the back wall. You never know when you can actually use it. I make the experience that power cords, especially in the outer walls, are really great. Because you can carry around turrets, for example. And this way, you can easily just uh, put them wherever you need them. Okay. So the heat strokes should be uh, over quite soon. Quiet Brontosaurus. So we're being raided by five scythers two times. Hell no, man. You can look for somebody else to do that crazy job of yours. I'm not the person. So we're going to drop down the high-tech research bench here. And we're severely out of components, but that's a resolvable issue. There's still some ship chunks lying around there. So are our dudes now in a bad mood because they traveled? Had to leave the colony. Minus 30. <gasps> Minus effing 30. Wow. They really hate leaving shop. I love it. So I'd say this is a very, very good reason to to put up a festival today. Like seriously, we deserve partying a bit. Funging Park Festival, okay. The trader ship noticed your presence. Yay! If I understood that correctly, this means that we're going to get some trader some traders here in. Oh Doc has a food poisoning. All right, so we're going to store coffee here and also there, just to make sure that not the entire coffee storage is getting frozen, you know. All of this needs rescue. All right, nothing unusual to be down during a food poisoning. Well, it's not overrate this okay so there's a little bit of something there let's deconstruct these things Ooh, stretch yum yum there we go No oh, Doc suffering from muscle parasites as well. Man, his life must suck right now. Winter's Ambrosia Binge. Since when do we have Ambrosia? <laughs> but you do your mate. He's so angry about the fact that he had to leave the colony that he really needs some some downtime now. I dig it. Okay, well, with all that out of the way, we also need a, a spot for our social activities. Let's do this here. Oh, not there. So this is going to be where I'll put down the altar and all the things. Alrighty. What are my other plant dudes doing? Pepper. Pepper, what are you doing? Yeah, okay. 
more important work. That's the answer. So by the way, did I configure regular coffee as an allowed drug? I need to check that out. Yes, I did. Good. All right, so we made a nice amount of progress here, I'd say. So, 18 men hunting fish and mice, second generation, hell no. We got ourselves the pen that I was looking for, and I got at least the blueprints for the lab area. Well, let's finish. Let's finish the steel high tech bench, so we can say we got the lab down. Did you guys not get anything finished here? Damn. So let's see, Winters is a tad bit hungry, so I won't be making him too unhappy. Well, whatever, we ha we got the high-tech research bench down, we haven't powered it up yet, but this is going to happen all, all during the next episode. I thank you guys so much for watching, I feel like we're getting somewhere here, and the expansions are going well. Next episode I'll be able to set up the, the lab, and... Probably we'll even have our first look into genetics. I don't want to promise too much though because we're pretty much in a in a pinch when it comes down to resources, so I'll rather take things slowly. Anywho, drop me your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys as you all know. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and of course consider subscribing. There's daily content coming up there and there's already hundreds of videos, so if you want to watch more, go forth. There's more. Have a good one, and see you soon. Bye-bye.